One month ago, Kilifi County was in the headlines in regards to COVID-19 infections. And the situation there was comparable, some would say, to Nairobi in terms of how quickly the infections were rising. Now, the focus has switched to Mombasa County uh, with Kilifi looking like it's stabilized. Does that mean that Kilifi is doing something right? Have they done enough tests? Joining us live from Kilifi is the Governor Amazon Kingi. Governor, thank you for finding time for us on Newsnight. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're looking at some of your numbers now. Seven cases and about four recoveries. It seems to have uh, standardized right now. Correct me if I'm wrong, because many expected higher numbers at this time from what we had seen earlier. Are you doing something right or are you not doing enough tests? Uh, well, I think it can be explained uh, in two ways. Uh, one, as a county government, we, we went uh, pretty early into taking preventive measures. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we are we are amongst the first counties that uh, took very tough uh, preventive measures. Uh, so maybe that uh, could have helped. Secondly, uh, we have not really tested uh, many people. How many? So you... then we have, we have tested about 196 so far. Uh, we had... Um, a list of 241 that uh, we had to trace, isolate and, uh, and, and uh, test and isolate, uh, which we did. We completed uh, actually uh, tracing all the uh, 241 uh, persons. Uh, we did uh, taste out of them. We did uh, taste uh, one and six, and uh, seven of them turned uh, positive. Okay. And uh, it's been a month now since we... Uh, uh, we had any confirmed case, although the testing has continued, but rather in a low key. Uh, and, 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 and that's why I'm, I'm a bit hesitant to celebrate as, as a county, because then uh, we need to test more people. We need to start the mass uh, testing exercise. And um, the result of that mass testing will actually be able to give us uh, the exact position Governor. of the extent uh, of this COVID. To do mass testing, you need lots of kits. How many kits do you have access to tonight? Uh, tonight, I could say we have access to about 800 tests, uh, kits through Cambry. Okay. And uh, because of these kits, we had a discussion with Cambry last week. And we agreed that uh, we do, we start a mass testing uh, this week. Uh, and it's going to be conducted by both our county health workers who will be going to the field uh, to actually um, collect the specimen, and then Cambry will uh, handle the lab uh, uh, aspect. We also agreed that uh, we will not be able to open up, uh, open up this mass testing to the public owing to the um, limited number of uh, uh, the swabs and the VTM, the viral uh, uh, transport media. And uh, because of that, we had to prioritize uh, the kind of groups that we're going to start with. And in Kilifi, we said we're going to start with our health uh, uh, health workers because they are the ones who are always uh, um, coming into contact with quite a number of patients. And therefore, the exercise... Uh oh, Governor, this is a viewer who doesn't leave a name, but you say at least the governor has agreed that they are not testing much. What has he done in terms of preparedness and in terms of protecting frontline health workers. Governor, maybe let's start there. So you are, you've admitted that you're not doing as much testing as you'd like to. You can't even call what you're doing mass testing. But what are you doing to equip uh, your medical workers there? I think what we did was to provide the necessary uh, protective gear. That is the PPEs. Um, as you're aware, we currently we have two of our patients in isolation in uh, Jibana. And uh, we have two teams that uh, work uh, on a rotor. So one team works for two weeks and then it goes on, 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 on quarantine. Uh, we managed to get a hotel, that is Temple Point, where our frontline health workers, after they're done with the shift at the isolation center, they are taken to Temple Point Hotel, where we keep them for, for two weeks before the other team also takes a break. So we have uh, a very elaborate program to make sure that uh, we take care of our front uh, line teams in terms of uh, their social well-being and also in terms of uh, giving them the necessary gear whenever they are attending to patients 
okay. in these isolation centers. Uh, Governor, you've told us you've done about 196 tests. You have about 800 kits, meaning total you can only do about 1,100 tests or so. We are in week two now of the partial lockdown, a restricted movement of four counties, including your county. Within the next two weeks or so, the deadline will have expired because it was a 21-day restriction. Will you be confident enough to reopen Kilifi after that period with the kind of tests you've done so far? The expiry of the 21-day uh, lockdown uh, can only be useful to us if we do the mass testing. Our decision should be based on science. And science demands that we do the testing. Then the figures out of this mass testing will inform the next decision. And therefore, for us, uh, we are not really looking at the remaining, the remainder of the period. We are looking at how can we be able to achieve mass testing and then using the figures, using the results to inform our decisions going forward. Okay, uh, even as we wrap up, so what does mass testing look like to you? You know the population of your county, you know the areas of dense population. How many kids do you need? And I guess many would be asking, why don't you have those kids tonight? Well, we, these kids are not available in the market. It, it's not that we walk into a chemist store to a shop in, 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 in this country together. The swabs and the VTM are uh, give, they're actually provided to us by, uh, by the Ministry of, uh, of Health. Uh, as the county government, we, we, we have received uh, about 800 of these uh, swabs and uh, the VTM. And that's why we thought we, we need to start this. And by this Friday, we're going to receive another 500. We have uh, PPEs at the moment that we're going to use them for this exercise. And again, by Friday, we are receiving uh, more PPE kits, about 500 PPE kits. So we believe with these uh, PPE kits available, and uh, the 800 swabs available, plus the promise that we're going to have more by Friday, uh, this gives us then uh, uh, the reason why we feel we need to test beyond those ones who come to us calling because they're saying they have symptoms or we are tracing them through our contact uh, tracing program. You sound very optimistic, but you're mentioning very low numbers. Uh, Governor, I ask once again, are those really enough? Shouldn't you be asking for, for 5,000 kids or, or more? You see, asking is one thing, and getting them is a different thing. Okay. They are not available. Even getting the hundred, the 800 wasn't that easy. Uh, we did make a request. I think today we did uh, make a request uh, through the MO, uh, through one of the uh, contacts at uh, the ministry, and we were promised to get uh, 500 by Friday. So they are not available. You know, we would wish to have thousands and thousands of swabs and the uh, VTM. But uh, the numbers are limited, and therefore, whatever we get, we use it to the maximum. And that's right. why with the 800 and with so the 500, we believe we can slowly uh, start this exercise. And maybe when these kids become more available, we can uh, escalate or we can uh, be able to expand and go to other cadre apart from just uh, testing our health workers. And finally, Governor, today we saw, I think it was an internal county memo where you were uh, uh, withdrawing special passes for county staff, possibly some who live in Mombasa but work in Kilifi, etc. Have you taken these measures because of your concern about what is happening in neighboring county of Mombasa? Uh, we, are, we are becoming uh, really worried as, um, as a region, in fact. And uh, every day I talk to my brother, uh, Governor Joe, and we share a lot in terms of uh, uh, this is happening. How do we hold hands and, and, and move forward? But again, um, if you listen to Governor Joho for about, uh, uh, from about three weeks ago, he's been advocating for one thing, uh, lockdown. We discussed this matter and said maybe that is the only way out. Because as long as there's movement within Mombasa, as long as there's movement between Mombasa uh, and Kilifi, as long as there's movement between Mombasa to Kwale, there's going to be infection. You know, an infection does not necessarily mean that it has to happen from someone outside Mombasa, I mean, maybe from Tana River coming to, to Kilifi. Okay. An infection, an infection can happen within. As long as there's movement within our counties, these infections will continue. Okay. It is something that uh, we discussed, and it's something that we even agreed to escalate it to, uh, to the national government to see how we can be able to be helped 
to run a program uh, where we can go on a lockdown, still cushioning our people. Because the lockdown has uh, quite a number of uh, other challenges that come with it. Okay, and uh, we shared this uh, with the national government yes. with the hope that if we go on a lockdown, they should be able also to, uh, to help us cushion our people because a lockdown means providing quite a number of essentials. To, to, to a number of households. That's right. Governor, thank you for speaking with us tonight. The Governor, Kilifi County, Amazon Kingi, live with us uh, via Skype, talking about the situation in the coast at this time. All right.